the 17th century, a slave woman was accused of witchcraft. After receiving a beating from her master, she confessed. That confession sparked the Salem witch trials in Massachusetts. Later, people believed that she was just telling a story. Well, I can confirm, black girl magic does exist. I will admit that my seafood gumbo is a looking glass to another world. That's why I don't just share the recipe with anybody, baby. When I grew up, they didn't have Barbies that looked like me, so I played with voodoo dolls. No one talked to us black kids, so I played with spirits on lonely playgrounds instead. You could say I am a witch because I am dark and fly or because it takes a lot of magic to exist as a black woman. Isn't it wizardry that I am 18, graduating from high school with no criminal history? Apparently, it's rare for a black woman to be articulate, so you are supernatural. They will call you mad black woman when you speak your mind because you've got a lot to be angry about. You have probable cause to become a black hole and consume everything in sight, but most days you build and do not break. They will try to break you down, girl. They will ridicule your body. They've called me Medusa. Go ahead, touch my hair without permission, but don't be surprised when my kitchen cuts you. You are not pretty for a dark girl. Don't listen to the noise. You have a smile that can hex an audience. Your charm is an art. That's why they never wanted to see you shine. They'll tell you you're impossible to love. They don't even want you to love yourself to them. You are a fetish, something to look at because you sparkle. Look at my black friend, I mean token, I mean trophy. They will put you on a shelf until it's not convenient. Tell you that that glow is grime. Don't listen, beauty comes in your hue. You are the shine they mistook a spit. They will call you queen while trying to snatch the crown off your head. When they see you cry, they'll say, you're tough, suck it up, which goes to say you will have to take care of yourself. Black girl magic is being okay. After belting the chorus, backstage, while the pretty white girl gets to show her face, they won't want you, just your voice, not that black, never that. Ursula was obviously black. They featured her stealing voices in the movie, but in reality, they keep trying to sound like us. They want the growl we so easily access, but keep telling us to hush. They say, don't make a sound, even if that means you don't get to breathe. Black girl, shut up! In fact, they will try to kill you, then say it was your fault, call it sacrifice or suicide. You aren't worth the protest because black men are the only ones worth the riot. You may get a hashtag, but no promises. Being black may feel like a curse, but it's a gift. You've watched as they've abracadabbered away the east side and you're still here. Black girl magic is living in places like Austin, Texas with a declining black population, which is a testament to your greatness. Black women glow up. We don't give up, girl. Stop apologizing for being black. Stop apologizing for being bold. Believe you are the first wonder of the world and rise. You don't have to see it or believe it, but I am magic. Understand this. You don't have to show them your sorcery. You just have to survive and stay strong like they don't want you to be. Black girl, you don't die. Black girl, you don't die. You thrive, and that's its own kind of magic. The thing is that just because we're magic doesn't mean we're not real.